Welcome back, my people. It's your girl Ihoma Obi, and I'm back with another video. If you are new into this channel, just know that I'm a faith based uh, content creator and I like to talk about the Lord Jesus Christ because he's my best friend, he's my father, he's my everything. So, in this channel right now, I'm just sharing my journey, you know, my walk with the Lord. You know the ups and downs the beautiful and the not too beautiful the stages that i'm in but overall a pleasant experience and i want to share where i'm at in my journey with the lord i think the lord is calling us to in this season the lord is calling us to just come back to him you know we have tried everything else we have tried and it has not worked you know a lot of people have tried to uh, do things on on their own strength and the Lord is is calling us back is calling his people back and be like hey all this time that you were looking at the wrong places you were, you were looking here and there it is time to come back home and I think uh, for me the Lord has called me few years ago and it's been a journey it's been a journey I don't know it all because to know God, to know God, God is so wide. God is so, he is the beginning and the end. So it's just the more I, the more time I spend with the Lord, and the more things about, and the more things I know about him. And like, I don't think that we, I, I don't think that I will never, 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 never finish knowing God. It's, I don't think it's, it's something that it can be achievable because God is just too much, too much. He has so many facets about him, so many layers to just be, you know, to keep digging and keep digging. So, but that's awesome if you ask me. So in today's video, let me, I don't want to be talking too much, but look, so far, if you like my face, <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, I beg. Bico, Bico, por favor, por favor, please. I just told you in three languages, you know, just, just do what you need to do. So I can grow, you can grow, we can all grow. It's a win, win, win situation. So today I, by the title you already know, you might have an idea of what I want to talk about, but ah, um, on November 7th, the Lord gave me a word, and I want to share that word with you guys. I'm looking down at my um, journal. This is the book. Uh, this is my notebook. And I want to talk about this and dissect everything, okay? After I just share with you what the Lord, you know, shared in my heart um, that morning. So, it says, focus on the Lord. Seek the Lord with discipline. Pursue the things of the Lord. Be alert, set the time to praise and worship the Lord. In such a time like this, he has called his people to pray and to be prepared for the coming of the Lord. For the coming of the Lord. Sorry. Um, he has called his people to pray and to be prepared. For the coming of the Lord is near. Don't be lazy. This is not a time to be lazy. Don't be sleeping in the spirit. Don't be drunk. Be sober because the signs that he's coming is right there. Don't you see them? Walk in obedience. Walk in faith. That's all I got from the Lord that morning. And that took me to read the book of Luke 21 from 29 to 33. And it talks about all the Bible verses that I'm going to mention in this video. I'm going to put them on the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. You know what I mean? I'm not going to put it here on the screen. I'm just going to put it on the description down below so you guys can read the Bible, right? Open your Bibles and read it and let the Holy Spirit talk to you, uh, guide you, and give you more insight or things that I'm going to talk about. So, on Luke 21, from 29 to 33, is talking about the parable of the fig three. You know, Jesus was saying that, you see, when summer comes, right, before summer comes, uh, there is signs that the, the summer, the summer, the, the season of summer is going to come. 
and the way that you're gonna know is because the leaves are gonna come out right and that's how you know the green leaves are coming and that's how you know that oh summer is, out, is around the corner you know th that's the sign that summer is coming and jesus says that's how you're gonna know when i come back you know what i mean there's gonna be signs that i'm gonna be back you know and then when you read a little bit more further into that chapter in chapter um in luke 21 from 34 to 36 it says but watch yourself let me i want to read it in the amplification version i have my bible is i think is the uh i don't know what is the bible i don't even know what what version i'm i'm reading of can you imagine yeah, um, my my Bible version is from the English Standard Version. I like it, but I feel like I understand it very well. But I found out that on my um, Bible app, the Amplification Version, I just like how um reads, like how the wording. I like the wording more than on, you know, on my English version. So let let us go to look where are you look you are right here 21 out uh, oh 21 look 21 from <clears throat> 34 okay it says but be on guard so that your hearts are not weighted are not they are not weighted down and depressed with the giddiness of the battery and the nausea of self-indulgence and the worldly worries of life. And then that day when the Messiah returns will not come on your so will not come on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all those who live on the face of all the earth. But keep alert at all times, be attentive and ready praying that you may have the strength and ability to be found worthy and to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand in the presence of the son of man at his coming. So this thing make me to understand that are we really ready? You know, I asked myself that question after the Lord gave me that word. Am I really ready? Because I feel like sometimes we are so busy, we are so caught up with the things of this world that we forget that we are not of this world, if that makes sense. We live in this world, but we are not of this world. And we should live a life that reflects that. We should be prepared. We should be gathering stuff, not stuff, material stuff, but we should be gathering ourselves to be ready for the coming of the Lord because the Lord is coming. And like he says, he's going to give signs that he is about to come, that he is coming. And I think that the signs are pretty obvious at this point. And the Lord wants to communicate those signs. The Lord is communicating those signs to us. But the problem is that a lot of us, we are not paying attention to these signs. And the Bible, the, Luke 21, it says what is happening to his people. His people are indulging in sin you know what i mean and when you're indulging in sin we serve a lord that is holy he does not have any sin he does not have no darkness on him you know what i mean so he he is it's very hard to um uh, it's very hard for you when you are living in sin when you're living in darkness for you to see the light for you to see the signs so when you are drunk it's very it's, it's very hard for you to see clearly so the lord is telling us like don't be drunk be sober be alert be alert and that's what the lord want he want us to be alert and how does that look like like what's the journey of us to get into that space where we can recognize the signs we can see the lord the lord can guide us on what to do because the time is coming and he want us to be alert i was also reading uh matthew 25 uh, Matthew chapter 20, chapter 25 uh, from 1 to 13 is the story of the term virgins. Uh, if you read it, please read it because it, it goes together with this. You know, it, there were 10 virgins 
five of them were ready, five of them were wise, and the other five were, uh, 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 they're not so wise, they were foolish, right? Uh, they were, they were getting ready to, 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 to see the, the room, the groom, and five of them, the wise people, they were with the candles, you know, they even had extra candles. I don't, they, they, it wasn't really candles. I don't know what it was, but like lightning, you know what I mean? Like at that time they had to like put gas, I don't know, but you know what I'm trying to say? Just read the, just read the word of God with that chapter. So basically what I'm trying to say is that they were ready. They were ready. If the light was going to go off, they had more to be able to see the, 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 the groom. They had more stuff, like more lightning to be able to see the groom. Uh, but the other, the foolish ones weren't that ready. They just took, they took, they just had one and that was it because they didn't know how long it was going to take. Just like we don't know when God, when God is going to come. We don't know, but he's asking us to be ready. So at that time, the wives were like thinking ahead, like, let me prepare myself. Let me take extra just in case. They were like on it. They were on top because they were wise. They, God maybe gave them the instruction that, hey, be prepared. Take more than what you need. But the foolish ones, they weren't prepared. They weren't prepared. And what happened is that uh, when the groom was about to enter, was about to come, the light went off and they needed to put more light. So the wise people, they were already preparing to put more light, you know, just in case. Uh, and the foolish ones, they were like, hey, uh, can you give us, you know, can you, you know, borrow some so I can lighten my lighting <laughs> and uh the wise people said well i don't think so because if i like i don't think it's gonna be enough for me and for you so but what you can do is that you can go right there to that store and just buy some lighting and you know you can serve yourself so they did that by the time they went over there to the store and buy what they needed to buy it was already too late and that my dear <laughs> that my dear it's a problem it's a problem because a lot of us we want to enter to the promised land we want to be able to make it to heaven but are we really ready are we really living in this world as someone that we are children of god as someone that is exuding children children of god characteristics or are we just are we just mixing with the war? And that's a question that we need to ask ourselves because it is not time to play. It is time to dedicate ourselves to the Lord. It's time to put time to seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord with all your heart, and all those things will be added to you. We need to seek the Lord for guidance. We need to seek the Lord because, like I say, He's coming, and we need to be we need to be ready. So many for so many of us were distracted with social media. We are distracted with Netflix. We are distracted with YouTube. We are distracted with the job. We are distracted with so many things. We are distracted in 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 relationships that we don't have business in being with uh, we are distracted with so many things that the lord does not want us to be distracted of and it's taking those distractions are taking us away from reading the word of god from dedicating our time to the lord because he's the giver of time he's the one that created time and time was meant for us to to organize it in a way that also includes god in our lives we're not meant to live our lives on our own you know, I mean, that's why sometimes when we try things on our own and it doesn't work is because the Lord, you never invited Lord. You never invited Lord. Or you think that the Lord is too busy for him to be on it. And the Lord is, as, is telling you right now, is telling us right now that, no, I want to be on it. You know, Lord will not, the Lord will not force himself in our lives he wants to, he wants to come with an invitation and i feel like this is just an invitation you know the book of luke is just an invitation of like i want you to be ready my son or my daughter i want you to be ready and this is these are the steps that I, you need to take in order for in order to be ready 
for my coming we need to think about it i think that we should read you know if you come across this video just uh check the description down below because i'm gonna leave some a uh, bible verses uh so just look at those and um, pray and ask yourself what is it that is stopping me from being alert what is it that is stopping me from not being prepared because the lord is calling us to be prepared to be wise and to be ready you know what i mean like when god when jesus come it, you cannot say oh i didn't know because he that's not an excuse is in the bible that is not an excuse and it will not be an excuse you cannot use that in the court of law i didn't know eh because I'm making this video for you to know. So it's time to leave this worldly stuff and concentrate in Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? Obviously, you still have to work. You still have to take care of your, your household. You still have to take care of the things that you need to take care of, right? But include God in the midst of everything because he wants to be included. Invite God. You know, ask the Lord, how can I be ready? You know what I mean? How can I prepare myself? How can I prepare my children? How can, how can I prepare myself for you? I think that the Lord wants us to ask those questions to him and he will guide us and he will lead us. He is, that's, he is ready to do that. But are we inviting him? You know what I mean? Get rid of all the things that you know that is, that is keeping you away from, uh, from, being, from being all the way in in god you know what i mean like for me i'm gonna be honest with you i i i i for me it's social media not really uh, not really um uh, like social media per se it's not like instagram or tiktok i don't i have tiktok but i don't really put much effort like i don't know i'm not scrolling down in tiktok i have instagram but it's not my thing it's more youtube or netflix you know i i i for the longest, the Lord has been telling me, you need to, you need to quit this thing. You need to fast over that because you're spending way too much time and you're not spending time with me. You know, like the Lord is talking, the Lord is talking, the Lord is talking to his people. The Lord is talking to his bride. The, the fact, the, the problem is that we like to ignore it. And for such some for some time i was ignoring it yes i will i will get back to it i will get back to it and i'm so grateful for the grace of the lord you know what i mean making these videos is 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 a reminder of great of of the grace of god it's a reminder of the grace of god because if you watch this video and you know that the lord has been talking to you but you have been postponing you have been i will get to it i'm so tired today oh my god you see i only slept five hours but you are watching this video it's a, rem it's, it's a reminder of the grace of god that there is grace but don't take advantage of the grace of god because one day the grace of god will run out and you will be left by yourself. And by the time you are looking for him, he is not going to be there. You know what I mean? Because by the time he comes and he takes his bride, that's it. If you're not taken, bye-bye. <laughs> it's, 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 that's how it's going to be. I know it sounds hard. And sometimes some people might be like, ah, it's not going to be like that. Then read the word of God because that's how it's going to be. So don't let the grace of the Lord run away. Don't take advantage of, don't take, don't take for granted, right, the, the grace of the Lord upon your life. Ask the Lord, how can I show up? How can I show up? Trust me and believe me. The Lord is going to talk to you because if he's talking to me, he's, he can talk to you. Like he can talk to everyone. You know what I mean? So I know that you just have to ask him. I feel like a lot of us don't ask him. And also when we ask him, you have to uh, also pay attention to the way he's answering you because he's answering you you know he's talking to you but we are so busy with the a noise outside that sometimes we don't pay attention when the lord is talking so we need to set time for the lord that is what the lord is calling us to do like set time be disciplined set time read the word of god seeking and this video is just to be to be honest overall it's just an encouragement you know what I mean? And also for us to, uh, to, to have that fear of God, like, hey, 
the Lord can come tomorrow. Am I ready? Because we don't know the time. We don't know when it's coming. Just like the 10 virgins, they hear that he was going to come, but they didn't know when exactly. They didn't know the hour and the time. And the five people that were wise, they were over ready. They're like, I'm ready. I'm more than ready. But the other ones, they were like, well, they weren't that ready, apparently. So it's like, we need to be ready. We need to be ready and we need to set time to study the word of God. We need to set time to read the word of God. If you are too busy to do that, hmm. <sighs> and all those, things, all those things that I'm saying, I'm saying to myself too. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like I'm taking the word that I'm speaking, I'm speaking right now. It's also for myself. Like, we need to set time. You know what I mean? Like, I, I am busy. I'm busy, guys. I am busy. I have a job, a full-time job. I work 10 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? I wake up every day every day whether i'm off from work or i'm not off at 5 a.m 4 55 and the reason why i wake up that early is because i want to dedicate time for the lord i, I can only dedicate my time at least like one hour well 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 is in the morning you know what i mean like that's all that that helps me to to start the morning the, the correct way the right way so i have to do that and it's a sacrifice, yes, but that, like, that's nothing comparing to the sacrifice that the Lord did for us. It's, 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 it's like a small talking. Me waking up at 5 a.m. and only sleeping sometimes four hours a day. It, it's just a small talking from what the Lord has done for me. So it, it is possible. You might, not, you might not have to wake up at 5 a.m. You might have, you can maybe do... <laughs> later on in the day but for me that's what it works that's what works for me so that's why i'm doing that because that's what it that's what i need to do for me in order for me to be in the world for the rest of the day and and that doesn't mean that during the day i'm not reading the word of god i do read the word of god during the day i read books you know and so I, I'm constantly sucking the word of God. I'm um, constantly seeking for wisdom. And that's another thing that you need to seek wisdom. We need to seek wisdom because the five virgins, the reason why they were prepared is because they were wise. They were wise because it's because the reason why they were wise is because they seek to be wise. They, and it, in the Bible, it's recorded that we can only seek, we can only, we can only get wisdom from the Lord. Wisdom doesn't come from reading books. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's knowledge. Wisdom comes only from the Lord. And I will, I'm going to leave also on the comment section down below uh, the Bible verse for that. So you can read it for yourself. I'm not speaking out of my own uh, flesh. I'm speaking actually from the word of God. So what I'm trying to say is that wisdom is only taken. It's only given by the Lord. So... If you want to be wise, you have to actually ask the Lord to give you wisdom. And that's where we need to be consecrated in the word of God. There is no other way around it. You cannot be wise without, without, without being consecrated. And what, what does that mean is that you have to spend time with the Lord. You have to be in your word. You have to be in the word, in the word of God daily it's not something of mm, today i will do tomorrow i will not do and the next tomorrow i will do it's a daily thing it's every pray without season meaning that you have to pray all the time sometimes for me in the morning praying in the morning it's like more more specific like i will it's one hour that i'm alone i don't have noises so i worship the lord i pray i i journal that's a hour for me and just for me. But throughout the day, I'm reading the word of God. Uh, sometimes I will have a word from the Lord and I, I will pray about that word, it, you know, and sometimes I will be in the car and I will pray like maybe it's just too many pray. I will, but don't, you know, don't be so, 
because some people you know when i watch videos of people saying ah you know you can bring your car two minutes and that's enough that is not enough <laughs> that is not enough but we will leave that for another day because this this video is going to get too long and i have to edit the video and to be honest i don't have time for that <clears throat> i beg so anyway we're going to leave it as this and i pray that the lord almighty will help us to be ready like if you want to make a way, if you want to be ready, I pray that by the time we ask the Lord, Lord, help me to be ready. The Lord will come to our aid and he will lead us to that place of readiness, to that place of preparation, to that place to be wise, to have good counsel in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord, the Lord of mighty will meet us wherever we are right now, and he will build us from there. He will build us to a place of spiritual, a spiritual maturity and inner peace. Because at the end of the day, it, all, it's only him that can give us that can give us that inner peace and that a, a spiritual maturity. So I pray that all of us that, you know, everyone that has come across this video that knows very well that they are not ready i pray that the lord almighty will meet them right there and he will make you ready and you will be ready in the name of jesus amen <sighs> thank you jesus thank you lord see you guys in the next video by grace of god bye bye